So, what's become of the Amber? Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. your mind yet? Ada? Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Hey, Ada! Ada! <sighs> Perfect. Same as ever. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here, back again playing some more Resident Evil 4 Remake. Hope you're all having a beautiful Day, wherever you guys might be this is chapter 10 and it's gonna be an exciting chapter to say the least some very tough fights in this uh, chapter but we're gonna do our best to zero death let's take a look at our inventory real quick before we head out all right I'm definitely gonna want to craft some attachable mines at some point but otherwise I think we're doing all right. I, yeah, I'm doing pretty good on ammo as well. Let's keep using the bolt thrower. So, um, the treasures that we picked up as Ashley are dropped right here. So let's go ahead and pick up the perfume bottle, sapphire. Could have sworn there was three things I picked up in my other playthrough, so maybe I missed something in this one. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, let's go in here, and we're actually going to retrace uh the steps that ashley took in the last episode but this time with leon and we're gonna kill the merciless knight along the way which is that golden knight we saw with the red eye down in the mausoleum and he is right along the way so this is right where ashley was right when we first got separated and and all those things that we saw that we couldn't get with ashley we will now be able to get with Leon, including the rat. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, come on. I hit him. Oh, come on. I don't want to waste ammo. I could use the bolt thrower, but dude, ha you know what? I might just bolt this rat. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes. Got that mission complete. Now there's a couple enemies in this uh, zone, but before we we go actually into the library, let's go down into the mausoleum because that's where the merciless knight is, and the merciless knight is going to be flanked by two of the regular armored. Infected Plagas dudes that we were running away from as Ashley. Uh, let's break these urns real quick. Call the elevator. I keep looking at the map just to make sure I'm not missing any of the treasures. Because I know there's a couple hanging lanterns in the area. So the Merciless Knight isn't really much different than the other armored guys other than he's just stronger. Um, there he is right there. He moved from last time we saw him. And then there's two armor knights beside him. Before we go fight him, though, let's just creep around and break this herb. Get all of that. Urn. Did I say herb? Let's break this urn over here, too, and get all of that. Now, with the large resources, let's see what I can craft. I craft more bolts, which, honestly, I'm probably going to need, but... I actually prefer having a flash grenade on hand, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to try to eliminate the side armored guys first and then the, the gold one. So no real strategy other than run around and try not to get hit. 
Shoot him in the neck and then run up and kick him as soon as you can. Out of the way. While you're kicking them, they won't be able to harm you like at all. But yeah, once they pop out their Plagas heads, that is... Oh, let's block that attack and run away. Dude is all over me. I'm going to have to re run away, reposition. He was he was coming at us quite fast. Okay, this is this is not going according to plan. Let's <laughs> Let's heal. Do I have to use the shotgun here? I want I wanted to use bolts, but if we, if we have to do this, we will. All right. Now now let's focus on the bolts. I have a lot of pistols, so Unfortunately, as you can see, it's hard to hit his Plagas, but if you can, like, run behind him and snipe him with the rifle. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. Get that kick. Sorry. Must have slipped. Where did my bolts go? I want to pick up the ammo from the bolts. Maybe I should have crafted more bolts. Wait, what are you... The music stopped. It, like, confused me. Come on, buddy. There it is. We actually didn't use that much ammo. Let's grab the yellow diamond. Break this last urn here. And got a boot knife. Don't forget to pick up the loot from the two other guys because they drop good good items as well. A ruby, getting all my bolts, and a sapphire. So, pretty nice loot. Got all my bolts back, and that's pretty much all there is down here. Actually, one more bolt over here. Can I reach it? Yes. All right. So that was pretty fast and easy. Let's go back up. Totally optional to kill that guy, but you might as well. I mean, the loot is good. Speaking of, oh, we got this crown. And if we socket it with five different colored gems, we can actually sell it for an insane amount. Oh, uh, uh, you know what? I need to do yellow here. And then we need to find another purple gem. And for this... We'll put the blue one in there. Boom. Wow. So we got a lot of stuff to sell. And we will we will go to the merchant uh, before... We'll go to the merchant at least once or twice in this chapter. So don't worry about that. All right. Let's head back up. And now we're going to retrace our steps where Ashley took in the library. And there is a couple armored dudes in the library. Let's get our bolt thrower back out. Ooh, a grenade. That is... Highly useful. I believe there is a hanging lantern. Maybe it's up here or that one. I don't remember. One of the two. Let's take care of the knight on our right first. I know there's one over here. Boom. Hold still, buddy. Okay. Kind of missed him a lot, but... We got it done eventually. As long as we use mostly bolts, you know what I mean? Then we're, then we're saving ammo. Anyways. Yeah, we already got the treasure with Ashley over here. Right? Yeah, we already got this treasure. Okay. Let's go up the stairs back here. Before we fight the other dude. I hear him behind us. But I don't think he'll come over here. Maybe he will. Doesn't really matter. He won't come up the stairs. And we can use our cubic device here. Um, let's see. There we go. This. Surprisingly. Is a new weapon. An assault rifle, which sounds amazing, except that it uses 
uh, the same ammo as the rifle. And as you know about rifle ammo, it's hard to come by. And as you can imagine with an assault rifle, it blows through rifle ammo like nothing. So as cool as it is, I'm actually going to stick with my Stingray, which is already upgraded quite a bit. And we're probably just going to not even use this and put it straight in storage, to be honest. And I'm actually just going to sell it later. But still, I think it sells for like 25k, so nice little bit of money. And if you wanted to use it later, I mean, you could always just pull it, buy it again or whatever. Um, Alright, so with that, let's go back down. And let's get ready to fight this other guy. We can already see him over there. Hey, dummy. Dummy, over here. Dang it, I keep hitting him in the armor. Shit. Alright. Sorry. Must have slipped. Nope, no slipping going on. Well we killed that one without wasting any ammo whatsoever. Alright, let's head in the door to the right here. And there's a hanging lantern with a yellow diamond. Beautiful go up here to another cubic device. This one's much easier to solve. And a very cool statue. I think this one might not take any gems. Let's see. Oh, it does. It takes three. That's, that's fine. Let's put this in there. And then we can do... Oh, let's do all three red. That's pretty cool. There we go. So really, I just need an Alexandrite for that crown. Man, we're going to sell for a lot of money. Um, we could save right here. Might as well, right? I'm just going to save right over that. And this is the balcony where Ashley got abducted. But if we run around to the other side, which we're pretty much done looting the library now. Yeah, there's nothing really else. So let's just run around here and we'll be able to knock down this ladder that we saw earlier. So if we wanted to get back up here easily, now we can. Though honestly, I don't think we're going to go back up there. But it, bo it bothers me I don't have an Alexandrite because on my other playthrough I did. So that means we missed it somewhere. It's hard to go through the game without missing something just because there's so many secrets. But we're trying to get all of them. You took care of a request. Well, Actually, we took care of two requests. Work. The rats and the merciless knight. Some rare things so, sale, he does have the Matilda stock, I think, the next if time we see him. Money can't buy. But I'm still not really interested in the Matilda. Let's get the gunpowder for now. An interesting choice. Let's sell the gold bar, oh, I mean good the statue, the velvet blue, the butterfly lamp, the golden links. And Ruby sorry, Ashley, no but you're not going to keep this perfume bottle either. That's Once we get the Alexandrite I'll in this crown, it'll sell for 100,000, I think. So hopefully we'll just find that later. Let's repair the knife and the body you, armor. Stranger. And let's upgrade... Let's upgrade the... Oh, that's nice. We already got full damage on the mine thrower. If you want damage, feels, damage. Fella like yourself should notice the difference right away. Fella like yourself. And then I'll just spend Try the rest. Actually, let's go to buy. He does have a couple new weapons. He has the striker, which is a... It's a powerful that shotgun, in your pocket, but it, it doesn't your shoot as precise. It does a widespread shot. I don't like it as much. And he's got a recipe for heavy grenade, which I want. Information is a commodity these days. Let's buy some resources. I don't always have this in stock, stranger. Where would it? Don't get yourself. So let's see. Let's craft shotgun. Actually, attachable mines. I want some of those for a certain boss fight up ahead. I would like a uh, rifle ammo or a heavy grenade or a flash grenade, like any of those. Let's just save up. 
Oh yeah, let's get the uh, let's get the rifle out of storage. The assault rifle. Oh, I can't. Why not? I have too much stuff. All right, let's just craft handgun ammo. Maybe that'll give us enough room. Can I just sell it from storage? Just Pretty sure I can, right? Your valuables won't yeah. do you much good in a deal well struck. <laughs> do I have an I have enough to upgrade a little bit more? A well tuned weapon can this okay. kind of work come back any time. There's the target range over here if you want to go practice shooting targets. But I guess I think I'm good on that to be honest. All right, let's head on, continue on, shall we? Back in the door over here, except this time we're going to go through the big doors to a new section of the castle, which as you can see, is kind of overtaken by like fungus or mushrooms or something. And these insect dudes. Which, as annoying as they are, the monsters. they're actually really weak and die easily, so not a big deal. That door is locked, so let's just vault over this ledge. Shoot a couple bullets into these dudes. Get them out of our sight. Continue up the stairs. There's a really tough boss fight at the end of this chapter, but before we even get to that, there's actually a tough mini boss fight I'll call it and it is coming up pretty soon magnum ammo definitely don't need that but whatever grab the money here and there some first aid spray in the cabinet just busting up whatever room this is We can see like a clock tower over there under construction. So even though the castle is all busted up in a lot of places and being overtaken by like fungus, apparently there's still parts of the castle that are being uh, renovated. Chronicles of Pursuit 1, July, two years since my awakening. Master Ramon has bestowed upon me a truly righteous undertaking to improve upon the flaws of our human form, to seek perfection as observed in our arthropodal siblings. I think he's talking about bugs. To this cause, I shall willingly devote my life. January, four years since my awakening. My efforts to transfuse the black liquid into the body are at the precipice of success. The womb is the key. A pure soul proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject. January, six years since my awakening. I have named these sacred larva carried in the wombs of the chosen, you too, after my own. They shall carry the prestige of my family name as if I had spawned them of my own flesh. The U2 are now close to the size of adult humans, and they continue to feed and multiply. I have successfully created a new species. Master Ramon has recognized my efforts and blessed me with praise. He has taken to U2, calling them Novistador, meaning the unseen, and that is the name of the insect bug people we are fighting. I've been told that His Holiness Lord Sadler himself has also expressed pleasure with my work. What an extraordinary honor this is. I can hardly see the tip of my quill through the tears of joy. His humble servant, Isidro Uriel Terry Talavera. So the Novistador, or whatever, the bug people, they used to be people, I guess. They were like contaminated while in the womb with the black liquid. I don't know, but um, yeah, definitely a whole new species. Actually, there's a, one more thing right there. Let's get that chicken egg. Check the map. No more loot. All right, so this... Though it has seen better days, is the ballroom of the castle. And it would be quite a beautiful room if it wasn't completely destroyed almost. Um, there is some bug people that you can probably see, including this one. And as soon as we shoot this one, we're going to get attacked by a bunch more. And there's a lot of bug people in this room and the music is going to be... Playing you are really slacking on your pest control. the whole time until we 
fight all of them off. Next. Gotta be very careful using the mine thrower that we don't shoot. Or I mean the uh, the bolt thrower. I guess it is a mine thrower too, but if we shoot like way out, we're gonna lose the bolt. So we gotta aim at the ground. Anyways. Let's just head on down. There is a bunch of loot in this room. And there's a bunch of bugs. A lot of them are in plain sight if you know where to look. But they do kind of hide themselves well. Sometimes. They keep coming. Where you at? Like I said, though, they do die very easily, so not really that big of a deal. The music, however, will persist until we kill them all. Which honestly shouldn't take that long. Probably shouldn't even waste my rifle. So let's unlock this door. This is back to the main hallway if we wanted to go back or if we die, I guess we have a shortcut. Get down. It doesn't really matter if you go right or left because we're going to circle everywhere. Let's just go left for now because that's where most of the loot is. And there should be some more bugs over here. Oh, yeah. Knife this one. Another one. Come on, come on. Plenty to go around, buddies. Get off of my face. Dang it. Did what I was trying not to do. Shot a bolt up high. Oh well. Maybe we can still get it? Not a chance. Way too high. Alright, before we go up the ladder, let's swing around here and get the treasure, but watch out for that dude. Oh, thank you for going right in a good spot for me to knife you. Two knife attacks. You're a strong one. Ooh, sapphire. Thank you. Thank you for more ammo. Ooh, an ornate beetle. And now let's go up the ladder. And don't worry, we'll drop back down and get all the loot that you see down here. First, we gotta open the door. Hi, buddy. I don't like wasting my rifle, to be honest. We're gonna need it for the boss. Let's stick with the bolt thrower. Come on, buddy. Get over here. Nice try. Oh, another one. Ew. All right. Let's pull the lever or whatever that is. One of two that we will need to open the door. And yes, there's still more bugs to be killed because the music is still going. All right, let's drop down here. I'm proud of myself for saving so much ammo with this bolt thrower. We're doing great. We're going to need as much ammo as possible at the end of this episode for the final fight. All right. Um, let's see. Almost snuck up on that guy. In fact, there's another one right there. And I hear one behind me.
Just looking for loot. All right, let's go more in the middle. There he is. Come on down here, buddy. Where you at, buddy? Ruby, hand grenade, sapphire. All right, well, if you're not gonna come to me, I'm just gonna start looting. Oh, how dare you? Oh, you brought a friend. Get that green herb. Okay. Um, I think we looted everything on the ground. So let's go up these stairs over here. And get the other switch. And hopefully kill the last of these bugs. I think there's just a few more up here. Then the music will stop. Could have sworn there was something on one of these tables. So two of them up here. Right in the head. Oh, that was a single shot. Oh, good to know. If you bolt them right in the head, it's only one bolt. Oh, hi. Oh, get off me. I want to kick. All right. I actually need to heal. Let's use the snake. And a green herb. Why not? Got lots of them. Still another bug somewhere. I hear him. I hear him. I don't see him yet, but I hear him. Where you at? It sounds like he might be below me. Ah, red herb. All right. I could have sworn there was a... Oh, we already broke it. All right. Not sure where the final bug is, but he's probably down below. Let's just flip the switch and we'll jump down there and finish him off. There you are. Where'd you go, buddy? He must have fallen into oblivion because he died. Oh, no. Did I hear him come back? I feel like I could hear him, but I don't see him. All right. Well, we did pretty good. I don't think we... We only lost one bolt there, so... Good. Um, all right, so drawbridge here. Let's go ahead and unfortunately waste a little bit of ammo. Shoot that thing to lower it halfway. And break this urn. And then let's go over to the side spot. And that one. Now, this room is going to be one of the tough spots in the chapter. There's a lot of enemies, and there's not one, but two of the, uh, I think they're called Garador. The dudes with the, ch they're like blind, and they have giant, yeah, those guys. Two of them. Plus, plus just a ton of other guys that keep coming and coming and coming, you'll see. Hey, guys, hold that. We have a lot of frags, we might as well use them. Uh, one tip, if you use the bolt throwers, they don't really make much noise. And you can kill a lot of guys without even alerting these ones. These guys will kill each other if you let them too, which is awesome. Look at that. Pretty epic, right? Another thing that can help you are these bells. But they're the same as before. You just want to sneak around, hit them in the back. All 
Okay, buddy. Let's just run over here. Bring them bring next to all these other guys. If they get too close... Oh, are you kidding me? I could flashbang, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to just save the flashbang. I should probably heal though, not gonna lie. That'll increase our max health. Breaking the urns will alert them all to your location, so just be careful about that. Hopefully they're just killing each other. Hi. Stop looking at me. I want to stab him in the back. He's not doing it. Gotcha. Oh, hi. Holy moly. I did not see that one. <laughs> I'm trying to save as much ammo as possible, too. Let's use bolt thrower. Oh. Nice try. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Get him, get him, yeah. And run away. They gotta be close to dying. They gotta be close. Oh, come on. I blocked. I blocked. I blocked. I blocked. Okay, well, we got a lot of these anyways. I could use a grenade and stuff. I'm just really trying to do anything to not. Hmm, the heavy grenade is tempting, but let's take the rifle ammo. Hmm, actually. Yeah, I already have four attachable mines. Rifle ammo is going to be very useful soon. And I can always make more attachable mines. All right, these guys are almost dead, so. Oh, I just found four more bolts on the on the table. Oh, and actually, there's four more attachable mines. So since we have them, let's just use them. Oh, thank you, thank you. No, no, no. Let's just use an attachable mine here. Attachable mine not working out too well. <laughs> oh, it's still funny to see them wreck each other. Are you still alive, bro? Okay, one of them's down. Only one dude left. He's dead. Go down. Stay down. Okay. So peaceful now, right? Pick up all this ammo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And yeah, so nothing else in here. Let's just keep going. You guessed it. We gotta put the unicorn horns on the unicorns. And we could have used the other bells, um, but we didn't really have to. We only used two of the attachable mines, which is great. We're going to need them on the next boss. So I got 
six attachable mines. That's beautiful. Yeah, we didn't use that bell or that one. Once you use a bell, they typically destroy it. Oh, one more urn over here. Some rifle ammo. Perfect. All right, time for a little cutscene. Almost killed me, but not quite. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Okay. That didn't uh, go according to plan. Kind of a failed rescue attempt there. Ashley don't look too good. She she definitely not doing. Ghost, huh? Definitely not doing well. All right, uh, before we leave, I think there is some loot somewhere around here. Somewhere. Don't mind all the bones. Oh, there we go. Green herb. Okay. Let's just keep it going. Getting out of here is not hard. Talk about sticking the landing. Nice one, Leon. You're full of one-liners, aren't you? Unfortunately, this next part is probably even harder than the last part because we're going to fight a boss and one of the hardest bosses in the game, in my opinion. I could have sworn there was one more thing to pick up around here, but whatever. Let's keep going. The hell? Oh, yeah. More bugs in here, too. We're going to have to put up with. More buggy bugs. And they like to cloak and pop out at, like jump out at you in the water. So just be on your toes. Nice try. Again, just trying to save as much ammo as possible. Let's get out of the water. So close to escaping this place. Let's jump down. Two different ways you can go, right or left. Uh, e either way, you can go both actually if you want to be really thorough. But let's just go to the left for now. Either way, you're going to make your way up to this area. Although... I don't remember what loot is over here. 
Get back here. A little bit of gunpowder. That's about it from killing this guy. All right, let's keep it going. One more. There we go. I got a lot of bolts. And I'm not afraid to use them. And I can always craft more. Um, Before we go... Well, first of all, check this out. So you can see the yellow herb there, which we can't even pick up yet. It's so close yet so far. So you're forced to go around. Oh, another one, another one. Almost didn't see you there, buddy. Okay, that should be the last one. Also got a bass. I guess there's fish in li these waters as well. Let's come in here. Prisoner's note. Another one dead. How long has it been since I was thrown down here? The meager scraps of food provided in the beginning are gone and they don't give us more. No, you don't say. The pains of hunger and thirst are unbearable. Most have resorted to drinking the black water. The first to turn was Herminio. He was so weak he couldn't even walk, but then suddenly became mad. By the time his rampage ended, the two were dead. I think we shouldn't drink that dark liquid. You don't say. How many of you were thrown down here? Dear Abelardo has also passed, though he fought until the very end. The only thing I can do now is honor the bodies and pray that their souls find peace. Oh, Lord, why do you test us so? Elegant crown, which can be socketed five times and sold for 100k. Uh, but before we leave, let's break through this little wall here. Kind of a secret. Though, pretty obvious secret because of the yellow herb right there. Let's just combine it, I guess. Oh, I should have combined it with this one, dang it. Uh, whatever. I guess I could just use it because I do. It will expand my maximum health. There. I'm doing pretty good on ammo, to be honest. I could craft two heavy grenades. I kind of want more shotgun, just so we can have a lot of shotgun to shoot this next boss. Okay, let's go up the ladder. And we are almost out of here. Okay, a little, oh, give me a break. little bit of uh, coughing, no big deal. We don't have to kill these rats, so I'll let them survive. Thank you for the ammo, we're gonna need it. Another red herb, which we're just gonna cra craft with the green herb, I guess. Another hanging lantern with a red barrel. I would have preferred the Alexandrite, but whatever. Still haven't found one of those. And here is our last merchant stop before the boss fight, so you might want to come in here. Oh, and I forgot. I saved another clockwork castle in for you guys. It is hiding in here somewhere. There it is. So far, we've gotten them all. Oh, nuts! Think about the finest ways. Another spinel. Some more stuff. All right. Welcome. Actually, can we socket this? I mean, we're just gonna have to wait. I don't. I have. I have four of these. So we don't have enough. Dang. I can't even sell these. Well, we can sell a couple of the other things, though. I mean, I could sell them, but for less. I don't want to do that. Still a lot of money, but whatever. I'm not going to upgrade the knife just because we're going to get a better knife at the end of the game. Repair the body armor. You're going to need it in the next boss fight. And then any other upgrades you want to do. 
I'll do Stingray to Max. See how that feels, mate. Fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. And all right, I could have sworn he had the Matilda stock for sale. Money Maybe it's at the start of next chapter. All right, let's save, and now we're gonna take on the boss. So the boss is basically the, you know, Salazar has two really big bodyguards. We're going to be fighting one of them, the red one. Verdugo is his name. And uh, yeah, he's insanely strong. Emergency liquid nitrogen showers. Caution, liquid nitrogen is extremely hazardous. Exposure may cause blindness, frostbite, and even death. We're going to need those liquid hydrogen uh, sections to kill the boss. This is what it looks like. You're just going to hit the switch. And boom. And if you don't hit the boss, you can redo it again. It'll just come back on after a minute. But if you do hit the boss, it will like freeze everything and then you're not going to be able to do it again. And there's four of those. There's like one right here. There's one up here, I think. One over here somewhere. And then there's one like in this room. So there's only four. You're going to need to use all four if you actually want to kill this boss. And I say if you want to kill the boss because it is optional. Chronicles of Pursuit 3. May, nine years since my awakening. Upon the release of this valve, black liquid shall enter my veins and circulate throughout my entire body. I expect this will be the most painful experience of my life. I await the trial with great anticipation. It's an honor to suffer through the holy labor of rebirth. The next time I awaken, it will be as a true servant of Master Ramon. I, Isidro, the guy who invented the bug people... Make this vow. I will surpass the limitations of man and become a true servant of God. I will find the heretics and serve as their executioner, their verdugo. So verdugo, I don't know if that's Spanish for executor or something, executioner. But basically the guy who invented the bug people, he is the one who turned into one of Salazar's bodyguards. Um, let's craft... I don't need the magnum ammo. I'll literally just discard it. I got a lot of ammo here, so... You know, we're, we're in a good position to win. Um, if you don't fight the boss, all you have to do is survive for like four minutes on emerald. Well, I guess we could put it in this one. I need an Alexandrite for both of them. Actually, let's change this one with the yellow. Um, yeah, if you survive for four minutes, it, like just running around until the boss just doesn't kill you until the ele elevator comes, you can survive that way. But yeah, I have so much stuff that my inventory is literally full to conserve electricity the power has been turned off including the elevator it can be restored by flipping circuit breaker which is over here so this is the elevator um something wrong with the power let's go flip the uh the power switch oops actually went the wrong way hey buddy these people are not right. Really? What gave that away, Leon? I I don't need the knife. Also, he's going to be taking s swipes at us, like with his tail. So just be ready to dodge, which is clicking the right stick. As soon as you see the tail, just... Spam right stick. Usually he does take a swipe at us. I don't know why he's not doing it. Maybe we're going too fast.
Oops. Gotta open that door. Oh boy, he he's he's not happy. Yeah, that way is another liquid nitrogen. So as soon as we, oh, here we go, evade. As soon as we flip the switch, he is going to attack us full on. And like I said, one of the hardest bosses in the game, he takes a ton of shots to kill. But the key is to try to get him into liquid nitrogen, blow him up, just run around and keep doing that basically. There's literally nothing else you can do. We'll save that herb for later. I don't really need it. All right, here we go, guys. I am going to use the attachable mines, the heavy grenades. I'm gonna use everything, the, the rifle, to try to kill this guy. All right, he's gonna come in here. And as soon as he does, we're gonna flip the switch. Hey, buddy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Oh, you don't like that, do you? You do not like that. Blow him up as best as you can. Alright, let's keep it going. It's going to take a lot more than that. Oh, oh. Let's... They got to make it suspenseful. Hopefully he doesn't come kill us while we're doing this. I think that's enough to get through, Leon. You don't have to literally open it the whole way. Okay, the elevator is on the way. What's your move? And there's another hydrogen thing over here. Wait for him to show himself. Oh, come on. You're not going to jump down? Come on, buddy. I know you want to jump down here. Oh, there you are. I think you need to chill out. Yeah, you shouldn't hit me like that. That's not very nice. Yeah, that feels good, don't it? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we can't go this way. Cool. Oh, he ran away. Perfect timing. Um, let's keep going because there's another liquid nitrogen thing up here. Hopefully, he just doesn't kill us. Here we go. Got another one right here. Come on, buddy. We got some more removable mines. Where you at? Show yourself. Oh, okay. Oh, too slow again? Why is that? Heavy grenade. Oh. You son of a bitch. For real, that hurt. We might as well heal. I should have used a fish. I got way too many of them. Um, yeah. I I want to craft. Mm, yeah, whatever. Let's just run. Elevator's not ready. Let's head on out. One more liquid nitrogen. Oh, I hit evade. Come on. Leon, get out of the stuff. Heavy grenade. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? 
Finally, some peace and quiet. My condolences to your master. Gold monocle. What's the matter, buddy? Uh. Uh. You know we weren't gonna leave without killing this guy. Like I said, it is optional, but... There you go. Did better that time than I did on my first uh, attempt. Was there something I could pick up here? I feel like we left... Oh yeah, that. And then there was a herb like way back. Oh yeah, actually before we go on. There's one more spot that opens up after you restore power. And it is this little side room. So make sure you come back here before you leave. Right here. Grab the yellow diamond, gunpowder, and first aid. Okay. Now we're good to go. Let me know if you guys were able to kill that guy. Or if you just ran around like wild until the elevator arrived. We were pretty close to the elevator arriving. To be honest. I always kill him though. As long as you use the bolt thrower like throughout the beginning of the level so you're not wasting all your ammo. Like you saw, I had so much ammo at the end there. Your suffering can end just as it has for our newest daughter. Who has joined us in communion, and now she is of our flesh, of our blood. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. Deliver to these vagrant children their salvation. As you wish. I'll make it cheap for you. How about free? All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the chapter 10. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I think we did it pretty well, if I say so myself. Didn't die or anything. But if you don't know what's to be expected, you probably will die. Um, but no biggie. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more Resident Evil 4. And as always... This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.